Hey guys, Juan here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your Xbox Series S with a mouse and keyboard. Now, it's pretty simple to do, and if you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comments as well. And if you guys are interested in the specific mouse and keyboard that I'm using, I'll have them linked down below as well. And if you guys need recommendations, just let me know in the comments. All right, so the mouse that I'm going to be using for this specific video is the Razer Orochi V2, and this is actually my daily that I use on my own PC setup. Uh, this is a great budget mice. It's $50 dollars honestly it could be even be cheaper at the moment but this is a great mouse all you really need is that wireless dongle and you'll see they usually come with a wireless dongle so you can connect it to your pc now for the keyboard i'm going to be using one of my favorites this is the th68 from epo maker and it's got that yeah it's got that juicy little clickiness to it and this is just a pretty good board overall it's not crazy expensive either i believe it's around 60 to 70 dollars so it's not crazy but it's definitely on the higher end of the price points here uh, so this one is wireless and it's wired but we'll be using the wired connection to set it up all right so here i have my xbox series s i'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in as i normally would with my normal power adapter here and then of course my hdmi as well okay so on the console itself you have three usb ports you have one in the front and then you have two in the back as well so they're all going to work the exact same way so it's up to you where you want to connect your stuff to okay so i'm going to go ahead and plug in my usb-c cable into my keyboard here and then i want to plug it into the back of the console here okay as you can see here this is the bluetooth dongle this is what the mouse actually comes with and you can see at the very front it says orc v2 it's a little hard to see but that just says uh orochi v2 so we'll go ahead and plug this directly into one of the ports one of the usb ports on the console and next i'm just going to go ahead and turn this thing on all right so now we have the actual console pulled up here and i want to show you guys something real quick so here i am maneuvering through the menu here on the xbox and the keyboard works perfectly. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out on Fortnite. All right, so I have Fortnite pulled up here and I'm just gonna go ahead and give my mouse a try. And as you can see there, it's working perfectly. Click to start and then I'm gonna sign in. Sign in there. The keyboard is responsive as well and it works just fine. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and get into the game and just kind of show you guys that it does work and that the process itself is fairly easy. Okay, so one thing I wanna mention before anything is that you do need to have an Xbox controller plugged into your Xbox to play with a mouse and keyboard, mainly because of games like Fortnite, it will give you a notification telling you that, hey, you need to plug in a controller to play this game. Plug it in, that's no problem. You can still use your mouse and keyboard. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop in and play a quick match here. Now it's a bit funny because I have not played Fortnite in literally years on mouse and keyboard. I kind of like played a little bit on controller, but that's about it. So let's go ahead and get into this and well, let's see how we do. I don't, I don't, I don't even remember how to play this. So with this, I can actually adjust the DPI on the mouse and it'll work accordingly, which is actually really cool. And that guy just got pooped on. All right, one thing I will say is that back in the day, I played so much Fortnite. But that was so long ago. Okay, and here I wanted to show you guys some sensitivity settings that you can kind of mess around as well. So Fortnite will give you a lot of options to your mouse settings. But again, if you want to kind of save some settings on this mouse, you can. And then you can switch between the different profiles on it as well. So this mouse right here is a pretty good bang for your buck. So I definitely recommend the Razer Orochi V2, especially when playing with your Xbox Series S. All right, guys, that's it for the video here. If you guys found it informative, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, whatever it may be, let me know down in the comments below. But if we've learned one thing here is that I am terrible at Fortnite and I should probably stick to Apex Legends from now on. Okay, but with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.